what's going to happen 50 or 100 years down the road? Because there's going to be a bunch of robots out there, you know, if, if once every all the chemistry fails, are we going to get new chemistry? Is AI going to help with some of this stuff? Yeah, to all the above. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I, I do enough traveling that a few places I travel where they do have automated sprayers, you know. They're not big booms, yeah. but I'm like, okay, I can see a benefit to that. Yeah. You know, that makes sense. Our data analysis is what's really revolutionized a lot of things we do. I would say it's it's helped us in the ag chem. It's, it's definitely helped us in the breeding side of the business yeah. where you can do that predictive analytics and, you know, think about a breeder's perspective. It used to be, you know, you were out taking notes and I'm going to make this cross and make that cross and it's a numbers game. That's what yeah. breeding is. It's a numbers game. If I could take computationally like a thousand different crosses and I can throw away 998 because those were never going to be good. Now I'm down to two Yeah. and do this with this germ. Now all of a sudden I've just amplified my power. Well, we're doing the same thing on our, on our side for ag chem. So that's going to, that's going to lead us down a road biologicals. And I'm going to just use that big term. Generally, that's a very unique opportunity coming on.